Hello everyone, Dev Violet here. So we are here for a new video and I'm here to get a transformation. So I've always been intrigued by the Tread Goths world, Tread Goth style. So I actually found this girl here. I don't know her name, I'll put like the name written. Um, but she has like the coolest looks and I was like damn I gotta try it's just the right time <laughs> so today we're going to get transformed into one of these beautiful creatures so yeah stay along if you want to watch that okay so let's get rid of the bangs because we gotta oh sexy because we gotta work here my brows have to be gone for this because I don't think they use brows in this type of style, I don't know. They just... brows aren't a thing. First I'm going to block my eyebrows, I'm gonna do that real quick um, and I'll be right back. So I have already primed my face um, and now I'm just letting the glue dry around my eyebrows. So meanwhile I'm going to pop on some contacts. These ones that I'm using are from Pinky Paradise, you can find them on Instagram and um, their contacts are really great and they have great service, I really recommend. Um, so I'm just going to pop them meanwhile. <laughs> okay, so contacts are in. And um, no, they aren't like necessary for this type of look, but I really wanted to give a more um, cool look. So yeah, I'm going to go with contacts. I just put them on, it's just weird at first. So I think, yeah, my eyebrows are glued. So now we're going to get the rest of it done. And yeah, I don't think I can hide them really well because I'm not using color corrector right now, but we're gonna do the best in our abilities and I think in this type of look I'm going to do the face first and then the eyes because I don't think it matters if it's messy or not so we're just going for it uh, I'm going to make my foundation lighter than already it is so yeah just to warn you because it's about to get really really white <laughs> So for foundation I'm going to mix the LA Girl Pro Coverage plus the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Foundation and I'm going to give myself a flawless base and also a wide ass base. <laughs> I already use like the lightest foundations but I guess we can we have to make it lighter even. Um, by the way don't take this wrong like people with uh, like um, Darker skin you can obviously do this and you don't have to, you know, widen your face But since I am white AF, let's just take advantage of that and yeah Let's just make myself even more white because I mean why like why not, right? So um, I'm going to contour the face and uh, by the image that I saw uh, They always have like like a line a straight ass line uh, in black so I'm going to do like that hollow shape and then do the line with um, gray or black eyeshadow. I think I'm going actually with black because they do like, do like straight lines in black. So, so let me just kind of contour the face first. It's the first time that I'm trying this technique of the hollow cheek we'll see if it actually works because if it does, oh, amazing I might start doing my contour like this because same I like that ooh, I really like this look <laughs> let me just make it a little bit darker okay, so I'm kind of looking like an alien and I kind of like it damn Okay, so after this, I'm going to set all the face with powder and then I'm going to start contouring with the darker shade. I'm going to use the Sample Beauty palette on this video for everything that I'm going to do. So I'm going to use 
this gray shadow called every cloud and I'm going to contour with it so they just go like this so Is it kind of like that? I think so. And now I'm going to use a black and just gonna do it even sharper, I guess. Kind of like that? Does this work? I think so. Let me just use some powder and you kind of blend it somehow. Does this look okay? I don't know. I hope so. I do look like a daddish bitch, which is good. Okay, so let's move on to the eyes. So we're gonna do a big ass wing for this. So how should we do this? All eyeliner? Yeah, we could, couldn't we? Let's do it. I'm going to line all my thing and do a big ass wing. Let me grab a smaller uh, like mirror for this because I can't see. Okay, so grab the little mirror. So let's continue, shall we? So for eyeliner, I'm going to use the W7 Eye High Captain. Uh, I've been really loving this eyeliner. It's really cheap and doesn't like, like it's not heavy on the eyes. I really like it. So I'm going to use this one and do a giant, literally giant um, line eyeliner. So let's just go for it, I guess. I think that I'm not even going to consider like that rule, let's say, like, let's ignore my eyebrows. So let's just, let's just go for it. I'm not used to do this though. So I'm going to be like this and now I just remembered that uh, people that actually do this makeup like for every day um, they spend a lot of eyeliner, Jesus Christ. Um, so I'm just letting these eyeliner dry for a little bit before I, you know, put my eyes in a normal, um, in their normal state, let's say that way. And uh, meanwhile, I'm going to just correct around the edges with a more precise eyeliner. Then they have this girl at least has like I don't think I have space to do the line that she has on top, but I'm going to do one here like she does have like a line there. Mine are not going to look very perfect because I didn't hack my eyebrows that well, but yeah. At least they can work as guides to where my lines are supposed to be. Now I'm going to do those weird things that kind of look like eyebrows, but they don't at the same time. So, yeah. And they kind of meet on the nose too. That's kind of weird, isn't it? Like that. And like that. And I'll just go. This is really hard, actually. So one is way thicker than the other one and I do like this one better but um, I don't think I can hide it so I'm just gonna cover it up.
Uh, for um, lash glue, I'm using the W7 Lash Adhesive in black, and uh, I really recommend this one. Also, really cheap and really great quality. Really like it. And it's also really cool because when it's uh, like wet, the color it's blue, but then it turns black. It's really good. Really cool. So, meanwhile, that is dry, I'm going to do my lips. So for the upper part, since it's just really precise, I'm going to do it with eyeliner. So I'm going to go back to that W7 eyeliner and I'm just going to do the Cupid's bow in that weird shape that they have. Okay, so I think that makeup, it's kind of done and I'm just going to get on with the outfit and I'll be right back. So, okay, I changed outfits. I kind of did my hair. Are you guys ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Oops. I think I'm just missing like some piercings because I think they always have like piercings here but you know what guys I kind of like this look I ca I'm kind of vibing um, I, I don't know I feel kind of cool <laughs> I mean um, the only thing that I don't like is like the contour but um, I, I think it's my fault because I didn't quite, quite it like really nice and pretty um although i don't think the way they do their contour is quite um a pretty type of contour i guess <laughs> but um rather than that i think it looks kind of cool um i don't know do you guys like it i really like it uh i still think that i didn't do my foundation lighter light enough because they kind of always make my their face lighter than their body. I don't know. It's just maybe it's just me that I'm saying that, but I don't know. Anyways, let's just kind of put a filter that makes me white AF like a vampire and um, enjoy. It. Anyways guys, I hope you guys liked this video, uh, I really liked it, it was really fun and transforming myself and actually seeing myself in a different style because I do find that my style is kind of alt, like alternative, but I don't think it's as alternative as this. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys liked this video and I'll see you on the next. Bye bye!